Right, it's time to be the medicine man. Right, we're going to dish out medicine to the entire... Well, we're going to go to Whitechapel and then the West End. So what do I need? I need loads of fatigue potions. If I get 10 of these, it should be enough. Okay. What else was it called? Fatigue, fatigue, fatigue. Cold. Right, so one cold. Ah, oh, there's someone there as well. Don't know who that is. And a cold, and a cold. There's two people that we've never found. One in the West End and one in Whitechapel. So I need at least three cold portions, I think. Just to be sure. Right, we're all sorted. Let's let's evacuate the building by the window. The White Chapel and then the West End. Oh, so we're just gonna do a big circle. White Chapel, hit up the West End, hit up the the sewers and try and, well, basically solve the skull epidemic. Oh, look at these two helmets fighting. Well, I'll just leave them be. I don't have time for your ridiculous battles. Oh, fuck. What the hell? Oh, they're fighting the, the god of Pruin. Oh, look at him, He's got to, he just got destroyed. Fucking have some of this. Oosh. Oh, I dodged like a pro. Silly girl. Oh, silly boy. Oh. Who would have thought? We are going the right direction, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, we are. Definitely. You London vampires are so what are you like? What type of vampire are you? You're a fool, that's what type of vampire you are, you foolish creature. We could have worked together. I will freeze your blood. Could have swore I dodged that like. <laughs> you mother. Oh, backward parry. Right, he's gonna kill us if I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to be the parry monster, but I'm a fail. Right, I'm sick of you. Time to end this. Right, white chapel, where are you? Straight ahead. It's locked. Well, the only way is over. I cannot enter. Whoa, what the hell? Can't get into white chapel. Why is this? Oh, there we go, we're in. Oh, she's got a call. Xiao Xin. Xiao Xin. 
Good evening, Xiao Shu. Wang Shanghao, Doctor. Let the doctor operate. You should recover. Goodbye for now. See ya. Right, who's next? Oh, it's her next. Yeah, she's got a call. We've never had much interaction with this girl. She doesn't seem to have much to say. Good evening. You look ill. Well, there you have it. Take this remedy, but be discreet. It may damage your business otherwise. Thank you. Any idea where you get the hints from? I'd like to see what... What do you sell? That's enough there. Now, so. Straight onto the west end, so I need to take a left. So I wonder if this cure that I've got Wait, for one, I wonder if it even works, or other, is a, um, oh, what's that bloody name? Where's my mission list? Missions, please. Harriet Jones, yeah. I wonder if Harriet Jones will be cooperative. Or if she's going to be a complete enraged beast. Because that's what the virus does. It enrages people. So I'm thinking the latter. I'm thinking she's probably going to be a boss. But I might be wrong. We might be able to solve this peacefully. Where the fuck's that? Rogue Volkard. Oh look. It's an absolute beast of a vampire. Remember the air... Uh, we fought one of these in the sewers. Oh, this guy's gonna be a nightmare. Actually, they're quite slow. I don't think they're very good. Surprise, motherfucker! Oh, they're too slow. Oh my god. He's getting destroyed in the corner. Oh fuck, I didn't expect that. <laughs> Did you expect that though? Right, you stay still. Dead. They are weak. So big yet so weak. Oh, well, just outside of here. This is my home. She got what else to see? Jonathan. Hello, mother. Mm. Goodbye, mother. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. So. West End District serious. <laughs> serious business now. You need help. Please, sir. Please, sir. Good evening, Doctor. Do Medicine, you sir. You would say... Don't worry. I cannot imagine the... I found... Oh, yes, we found the restaurant, didn't we? I have found a restaurant that could satisfy you, Mr. Russell. The most intriguing and exotic restaurant in London. Really? You have piqued my interest. Where is it? It's a place where you eat in complete darkness and try to identify your meal without anything but your palate. My, oh my, how interesting. It could even be fun to eat a little poisson et fruit that way. <laughs> oh, thank you, Dr. Reed. Please, have this for your research. Oh, thank you very much. Succeeded, done. Ah oh, yes, the relationship with Doris. Now before I do that, I just want I've just had a sneaky suspicion that I'm not even recording this. I am. 
I am. Everything's good. Happy days. <laughs> Calhoun, tell me about your relationship with Doris Fletcher. Oh, Doris. Cold, fire, and burning ice trapped in a perfect body. Our passion was as intense as it was brief. What an actress. I she yeah. Did she have the Doris Fletcher? Doris Fletcher. Who the fuck's Do Who the fuck's Doris Fletcher? Oh, is that the Oh man. Doris Fletcher, that's the was that the dancer? Yeah it is. Doris Fletcher is the fucking nemesis arm. Oh my god, no wonder this guy got freaky ticky with her man. Imagine the absolute beast of a wank she would have given him. Damn near rip my dick off. How did you meet her? On a boat to France before the war. She was thinking about a career in Paris, and I was eager to try French gastronomy. We both returned disappointed. I expect you've mm -hmm. seen her on stage, too. She really is the best actress of her generation. Such frailty and such strength at the same time. I hope she'll play again soon. She's been away for too long. I've got some bad news for you there, mate. You sound surprisingly sad. Have you regrets? I think of her as a divine dish. I'm glad I was able to taste it, but I regret <laughs> I could only get a bite of her mystery. You really loved her then? She fascinated me, Dr. Reed. I can't imagine what she must have endured through her life to reach such a level of emotion and sensibility. This guy's a fucking creeper. Oh, she tasted sweet. <laughs> Right, that's about it. I may have a look at your goods. I'll have them. See what? I'll buy the tiny ones as well. Just in case I decide to level up some one handed weapons. Just in case. I probably won't, but uh, you never knew. Actually, I want to ask him about Aloysius Dawson. It's locked, alright. Mate, can I speak to you? Good evening. Did you know that I, I ripped his throat out? Have you any news on Aloysius Dawson? I will never see him again in my shop, it seems. I did not realise how much his health had deteriorated. <laughs> in the end, not even money can protect you from death. Or a Goodbye, Mr. beast of a bite of the throat. Maybe they don't know. Then again, the newspaper article said like he was murdered, so I'm surprised this guy didn't comment on that. Well, Charlotte's alright. 5,000 XP for killing Charlotte. It's tempting. I thought everybody in the West End was ill. I can't even find anybody. Look at all these. Oh, I guess Kimura. Charles Jerome. Oh, there's like the second part of the the West End that's right in there. Caroline Price, I didn't even know who she is. Emmeline Reed. Oh, me mum? Bloody mum's ill. Yeah, I was left in my place and slagging her off, and she's she's not very well. Women. This way. Yeah, sorry, ma'am. I didn't even think to check up on you. What a shit son I am. You're suffering from fatigue and just there. Come here. Hello again. Jo Do you need? Hello. Oh. I think you should take this. I'm not sure I'll ever feel better, but thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Now is he is that guy doing stairs? Every cork now he's he's tip top. Okay then. So we need to find our way to this part of the white 
white white end west end nobody around here i'm sure there's one more guy remember me friend that's walking about oh and his girlfriend lives in a house at the end of here clarence crossley your wife lives down there possibly not entirely sure yeah this is his house let me in i have healing Hello. I hate Mary. What do you need? Oh shit, that's me sister. Yeah, I, that's right, I do hate her. Do you need my... It was... And I'm happy to give it to you. Thank you, Jonathan. I'm happy to give it to you as always. I'm sure you bloody are. Tell me about Clarence's obsession with vampires. It drives me so crazy, it makes my stomach hurt. I was so relieved to have him back. I quickly realized he'd lost his mind in France. I understand your irritation, Venus. But you have to accept the trauma Clarence endured on the battlefield. The question is simple, Jonathan. Is my husband mad? Yes or no? Do vampires exist? Or is Clarence a lunatic? Well, I want to I say yes, vampires exist. So you don't believe Clarence? If poor Mary bless her soul, had tried to convince you of the existence of bloody vampires, would you have believed her? Seriously? Well, it depends. You're living in dark times, miss. The important question is, what do you really think of your husband? I'm tough, Jonathan. He should have told me the horrors he witnessed, however appalling it was, instead of inventing a fantasy about blood-drinking monsters. Listen, right? You need to be more supportive of, of your man. No wonder this relationship is in the drain. What do you think about Clarence squandering his fortune on his obsession? Soon we'll be poor and forced to sell the house. Where will we go? In which filthy, infected part of town will we end up? I'm so afraid. Listen, pet. Get yourself to Whitechapel. They're all a bunch of poor folk there, and there's no landlord that'll just extort you all. But it's got a really good uh, medicine woman. I'm so sorry for your loss, Jonathan. Oh my god, I didn't care about me loss. That that, that was weeks ago, motherfucker. Okay. Right, so we're headed. Oh, I've got to go through the bloody park. We should be all right. I want to go and see the the psychic guy as well because we've got some information regarding him. He was he was I forgot, but we did get some information on him. I can't remember what it was about. Um, ah, Linford Christie, the fuck out of this place. See it? Oh, he shot on us. Let's go. Oh, look, it's a vampire. Oh, look, he's getting shotgun to bits. Well, places to go, people to see. There we go. Temple Church. Alright, who do we have? The two brothers up here are ill. Fatigue. These are strange. Good evening, Mr. Hmm. Do you need my... I'm a... F I don't want to appear tactless. But says that... Goodbye, Mr. Bing. Hello. Do you need my... Indeed. You have a second. Goodbye for now. So they're taken care of. Oh, he's the inspector, the detective inspector. Doctor. Do you need... I'm a... You'll quit that... What are you... Well, I was... Why do I... I don't... Goodbye. Good. 
What about the girl? Oh, it's the girl. One of the people that we've never met is the girl. But look, she's... Oh, there she is. We've got, we've got a chance to speak to her. Hey, 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 you. Dr. Reed. Good evening, Miss Price. Whoa, what happened to your face? Do you remember me? Dr. Reed? Yes, of course. You are the doctor who healed me and my mum. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Good to see you too, Carol. Are you all right? Oh, yes. I, I did not hurt myself recently. I know how to take care of myself now. I'm almost a grown-up. Fucking hell, looks like your face is more grown than the rest of you. You look like a fucking eight-year-old woman. Why are you awake at night, Carol? I am helping my mother in her shop. It's not easy, but I'm a grown-up now. I wear big boy pants. I'm sure your mother is grateful for your help. I do the best I can. But I'm so clumsy sometimes. I, I, I drop things. I injure myself. It's a, it's a good thing my mother has the patience of an angel. Oh, she's got issues like... Why is work not easy? Is something or someone bothering you? Oh no, most people are gentle with me. But, but I'm so nervous sometimes. I, I pay no attention and hurt myself. Good thing my mum learned first aid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What can you tell me of the people living nearby? I don't speak to many people, except our customers. It's not easy to make friends. And with the epidemic, it's even more difficult. What can you tell me about the epidemic? Some of our regular customers have left London. Some others only send their housemaids now. Everybody fears the contagion. I've even seen men with weapons. Oh, there's plenty of them about. Have you no friends <sighs> at all? No. Mr. Nithicote used to pass by and was always nice to me. Does he not come by anymore? No. Mum said he was weird. Always reciting poetry about a girl he'd met in Whitechapel. I wonder who this camellia may be. <laughs> it's the town hall. Oh no, it's not camellia. Camellia's either the town hall or the mute girl. I hope you can stay a little longer. Oh, what's this? Do you enjoy working with your mother? Oh yes, Doctor. My mother raised me alone after my father died. We've always lived together, and she has always watched over me. Do you remember your father? No, I was just a baby then. My mother always told me how strong and good he was. Maybe I'm your father? Do you ever think about getting married now you're a woman? Oh no, Dr. Reed. Mum always says I'm still a child who has no idea how tough life can be. No husband would like a clumsy girl like me. Correct. Right, okay, now. Goodbye. Now you can speak. Is she ill? No, she's healthy. She's ill, though. Good evening, Miss. You know. Do you need my. Oh, yes. I'm just doing my Perhaps. But I have all Now what about this? We'll we'll have some things to speak to her about. Carol's gratitude. Carol's gratitude is exemplary. She seems determined never to leave you. I'm taking care of my daughter as well as I can. It's not always easy, but she's the best gift life gave me. But she'll probably leave you someday to live her own life. Will that be difficult for you? Why would she leave? Children sometimes stay with their parents until the end, but they know no one else will love them as much. Fucking hell, this this woman's a proper psycho, isn't she? She's just, she can't let go. She, she's going to be the reason her daughter's going to grow up to be proper fucked up. Goodbye for... What does she sell? You know... May I... It's always... Oh... Rivets. Right, so we've done a good job. Who else needs cleansed? I didn't know where Kimura is. She's recovering. She's recovering. She's recovering. He is. Two brothers are. He is. Just the uh, Kimura. I'm sure he's around here somewhere. I may be wrong. Mr. Kamura. Oh, what the hell? 
Oh yeah, that's right. Unfortunately, I feel that Mr. Kamura might have to just suffer from fatigue since he has went into hiding. Well, now he's down there. Kimura. Well, I've got no idea where this this Kimura guy is. Eh, yeah, fuck him. Right, I want to go and see the. The psychic. Oh, that's right, man. We found out that the psychic's a bloody a legendary vampire. And what's the crap with these panels in the floor? I want the combination. Because I know for a fact this door. This is a door here, and it opens right. But. Because I've seen accidentally sometimes the option to open that appears. We can't open it because we don't know the combination on these floor tiles. But I'm the master of complete randomly opening shit so let's just get it open. Nah, fuck that. You. Good evening, Jonathan. I know about you. I found your notebook, the one the guard of Prewen stole from you. And you've brought it back to me. That's excellent news, Jonathan. Were you able to keep yourself from reading it? <laughs> no. Ah, That's right. The oldest temptation of all. If Pandora herself did not pass the test, I suppose I should not blame you for your curiosity. So you're not angry with me? Why should I be? To live is to make choices, Jonathan. You made yours. Now give it to me, please. Done. Aha. How do you measure the amount of blood on my hands? I told you. The cards always tell the truth. Well, most of the time. Is it possible to tell me my future? A vampire's fate is much more delicate to read, Doctor. Oh, we've done this already. All right. The walls of your prison have already been raised, Jonathan. But you will freely accept to be locked inside, full of hope for a better day. Ah, how very, very interesting. Tell me the truth, Usher. Are you a vampire? By the stole, you really thought you could force Usher Talltree to yield to your little mind <sighs> tricks like an oblivious mortal? So, are you or are you not a vampire? As a brilliant man once said, to be unambiguous could only be to one's own detriment. Why can't I force you to answer me then? I'm the primate of St. Paul's Stole. Comes with certain advantages, like accessing the greatest library in the country and avoiding answering certain questions. So, yeah, I know. How do you know about the library? I know he's a vampire, I've read it in your book. And that. Goodbye, sir. But it. I rarely wander. Yet it amuses me to converse with your kind. Perhaps London will survive the epidemic, but I see terrible trials awaiting in the future. That's it. We've healed everyone except for a. The Asian guy, and I kind of find him so easy. Shit out of fucking luck in my book, like. <laughs> so we've got to. Oh, we're headed, oh, we're headed all the way back through here. It's a shame. Well, it's not a shame. It's a shame because of my my modern game app privileges, <laughs> but um, I wouldn't. I would have liked to have seen her. A very small fast travel just so I can get to and from places quickly.
Or maybe we'll catch the, the Asian fella on the way back. Your time to die. No, no, no. Right, that's it. Full of shit, you like. Fuck off. Don't you know better? You're fucking about with that shadow monarchy, like, a waste of time. Sit down, you slag. I'm not here for a fight. I am going the right way, aren't I? Yes. But I want to take a right. Take a right down here. Maybe he's in one of these back alleys. What's with that noise? Listen, watch. I look this way, everything's happy. And then... Some War of the World shit this. I don't know why it's got that loud noise but... Um, oh it's gone, it's gone. It's back again. Well there's Karina, she's alright, she's a rat lady. Is that where that guy is? Oh, there he is. Kabura. Good evening. Good evening. Do you need... There isn't... Yes. Goodbye. Right, everyone's a happy chappy. Is there anything... Now we've just got to go and kill a load of people. So what's the fastest way to there? Can Wait, we take the speed? pathway behind us. Is it this pathway? Um... He... It is. We'll go across the top of the building. Hello, Venus. Let me in. I remember when Mary came here with her. I need to be on your second floor. And also I need to rub this cupboard. Such a beautiful Oh what the build. She must wonder, like, she, she sees me go up these stairs all the time and then, like, I end up back at her front door. She must think I'm a right it's fucking weirdo. It'd be on the balcony. Where's the balcony? Here it is. See ya. Oh, man, you can't get through here, can you? Or can you? No. So how the hell do you get... Hold on a second. Ah, here yeah, must bloody gate. Right, I'm in the docks now, aren't I? Yep. This place is a right shithole. Fastest way to get to where I am is go around here over the bridge. Charlie Murphy, son. Now to get underground was 
Oh, we could have taken the shortcut through this facility. So let's, we need to go around the back and then drop in. And then we'll take the shortcut through to the, the sewers. Nope. Hey, less of that. Oh, wonder if that girl's still standing there. Oh, she's gone. She's eventually gone. straight into the hideout. So Harriet. I've just I've just figured out something as well. If you don't hold on a direction and just press say uh, dodge, just like Dark Souls, you do a back step. I've only just found that towards the end of the game. What a legend. This place has been ransacked. Oh, it's fucked. I bet you Harriet Jones will wipe everyone out. They've all been slaughtered. Pre one. No, not their style. Nah. nah, it's Harriet Jones. But the thing is though. She's actually done us a favour because we want rid of all the skulls anyway. Oh, look at all the blood over there. And this is her room, yeah, isn't it? Where has Are you? gone? She must have left a trail I could follow. I just took everything, like. Looks like we're, f we're following the oceans of blood. Come on, then. I wonder if the wise old woman and the sewer dogs are okay. Because she lives down here. Maybe she's got a hostage. But then again. Because she's quite a... I think she, the, the old lady is a... Quite a powerful skull. Where's it taking us on this? Oh, we're gonna fight on a bridge. It's like we are. We're gonna fight here. Who's this? Come and see him. More in depth. What do you want? Take not a step further, child, for you are unprepared. You at last. I wondered when you would show your face again. Step away. We have nothing to discuss. Desist, child. You cannot confront the monstrosity unleashed upon this land without due preparation. I shall not allow it. All right. But no more riddles. Enough of the obscure songs and prophecies. I ask questions, and you answer them. My words have been as clear as crystal lakes, my child. You seem unwilling to drink, to listen, to learn.
Yeah, your true appearance. Is that what you really look like? What is your true appearance? I do not understand. This is who I am. Blood. You are made of blood. Surely you are joking. Why would I? And no, I'm not made of blood. I am blood. Blood is what I am since my birth and for eternity. But who are you really? Tell me your name. I am your maker. I am the servant of the Red Goddess and protector of this land. I have many names. Just give me one then. There are those who call me Murdin Wild, the Wild Horned Man. But I never was a man. I was born out of blood. Yeah, this has just come from this guy that said, like, Oh, I never speak in riddles. And then he proceeds to follow it with a fucking riddle. Why did you choose me? Only you could provide a modern scientific answer. To this ancient mystical threat. Speak to me of this ancient threat. The blood of hate. Vessel of the wrath of the goddess. When she awakens, a disaster will be born into this world, for she is hunger and anger. What we're talking about. What kind? Disease, contagion, and contamination. How they course through veins is your dominion, my child. Your choices have made you. Only you can save this land. Maybe this guy wants what I want. But I'm still unsure. I'm here to stop Harriet Jones. She is the original character. The well from which this corruption flows. I have heard you, but be wary. Harriet Jones's mind is no more. She has metamorphosed into an apocalypse. Born from, drenched in, and driven by the blood of hate. What is the blood of hate? It is the curse of the goddess. It is the hunger in you. The need for blood. The will to strike and to punish. To spit in the eye of God. If this is all true, then who the fuck's blood lineage is the vampire girls? You know what I mean? Like, what's the crack there? Tell me about this disaster creature. I know London fell victim to such a thing. A disaster is pure anger born through blood. Its name means bad star, for they only appear when our queen unleashes her unquenchable wrath upon the world. And who is this queen? She is the Red Goddess, the Queen of Blood. In my youth, a hundred lifetimes ago, she was worshipped as the Morrigan. Morrigan. She is my mother. She is yours, too. The Morrigan? The Celtic goddess of war? Is this a ruse of some kind? She has been worshipped in many forms throughout the ages. The true nature of the Red Queen is beyond your comprehension, eluding even mine. But know this. She is a vengeful. So the disaster is some sort of accident. A disease vampires carry dormant in their blood, waiting to emerge. That's your modern answer. But a disaster is at the same time both less and more. Tell me what it is then, in your own words. A disaster is the pure will of our queen. Whenever she dreams of walking this earth, she awakes in this putrid vessel. Ah, so she's not like metamorphosized in like a, a human form or anything. 
she comes to this world as a fucking disease. I only wish to know how to put an end to this epidemic. To perform an act so noble, you must protect yourself from its poisonous kiss, my child. I know. McCullum used such a serum when trying to kill me. However, I have produced a more efficacious version of the antidote. Your final task awaits you at the end of these tunnels. I've known for ages you were worthy of this challenge. My champion, bittersweet. Yeah, so maybe we will fulfill the prophecy and he was right since we he always called us his champion yeah will it be over then is that the end of the game will it be over then once i've defeated this creature yes the threat will dissipate like so much smoke for you will have purified its source and then what what will become of me how would i know i am no god and your fate is in your own hands. For you are our champion. What will happen thereafter? What future awaits me beyond these dark tunnels? Your fate, my child, and the fate of this land. A disaster is about to enter this world to smite us all and teach us humility. You are our final hope. Oh, where's the option for? Yes, I am your champion, and this is Sparta! You tricked me. My sister died for your schemes. I have brought suffering and tragedy into this world. I am not, nor will I ever be your champion. Very soon you'll come to know that sacrifice is sometimes necessary. I understand the grudge a child bears towards his father. Be brave, my child. And now, uh, to be honest, out of all the people, Dr. Reed should understand this. The sacrifice of the few for the benefit of the many. That's what we live for. So is this the final boss? Are we fighting her on here? These poor skulls didn't stand a chance. I'm not sure which way is the way to go. This is probably going to be locked, do you reckon? No, that. Oh, I don't know which way to go. Hold on, wait, let's use the bat sense. Oh no, that is the way to go because the blood trail is going that way. So let's just quickly check what's behind this door. Oh, it's the way back to the very start of the sewers. Ah, okay, I know where we are now. Harriet Jones, I've come for you. Oh, she's a mess. Titty's hanging out. Of assistance. Oh, I like your help, Doris. Liars! All of you! <coughs> My poor baby. I've been such a bad mother. But the Queen oh, herself pregnant. forgave me. Gave me another chance. Harriet, you must stop all of this. I can't let you infect anyone else. How dare you interfere with the Red Queen's plans, Doctor? How can you stop the course of nature? Yeah, we'll go. Right, so she's susceptible to being frozen just like anybody else. And also susceptible to fucking club to the back of the head. Oh, she's got that stupid move that I'm 
Sister Hard. Oh, she's got a backswing, has she? Baby's a fool and I shall murder her. Oops. Right, you can't parry that. She's got hardly any stamina, which is great for me. Because I can just uh, damage her stamina really. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, she's she's just no contest, just so easy. Oh, but will she have a second form? I bet you she has a second form, I can see it coming. Liars, liars, all of them. Get out. That's not oh she's gonna explode. Oh, where's she gone? The Red Queen? Fuck. This is awesome. Is it rough? I think it is. Oh, how infinitely, how intensely, how irredeemably are you all going to suffer now? Can you even damage blood? She's got no stamina, so you can't bite her. That's a nightmare. My whole build is focused on biting this bitch. She's actually not that tough. Can I parry her? Oh, I can steal, still steal her blood though. Yeah, man. Oh, I can feed on these. That's good. Oh, shit. Oh, you can parry. See, it, she's a fool for letting these out because... Oh, she got out of us! Oh, fuck. Right, that's not cool, bruh. I need to... I need to... Stay still. I need the blood off her. Oh, you don't get any blood off her? No, get let it ah! Shit. This is not cool. Oh, that's not. A Can I not just drink the floor? There's blood all around. Can I not just get health from the floor? I hate that move, I hate it. I'm gonna die. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh, run, 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 run. Oh, there we go, managed to get a heal. Oh, she's got some sights. Shit. Oh, she killed us. 
Right, that is a... I wonder... Oh, we're going to have to do the whole first stage, do you think, again? And then do the second stage? I hope not. I hope it lets us start straight from the Red Queen. I think just... We're going to have to do both stages. I honestly think that... The best way to do the second stage is a Relentless Assault. Right, relentless assault on the Red Queen. Circle the prey. Let's hit her from the hit her on the booty. Right, that's unfair. Although you can parry her, right? Use it. Use the jump. Use the jump to get them. Get them and you can feed off them. Get away. She's got, she's like the air. Uh, she is really like a Dark Souls boss. Oh, she resisted it. Fuck. Handy, give us some blood back. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh. Hit the fucking thing on the floor. Fucking hell, Otter is gonna get me fucking killed, yeah, like. Got you, you little bitch. Oh, fuck. No one could ever defeat you, mother of us all. For you are our every root and leaf. You've always been my most amusing son. Then go back to sleep, my queen. And smile at us from your dreams. Did they feel my wrath? Have they suffered enough? More than ever, mother of us all. Until the next time. Until the next time. What is that it? So it's over then, young Ekon. You have put an end to this terrible menace. Old Bridget? What are you doing here? This is my realm, Ekon. This is Suaskal territory. But they were all massacred. ...by the monstrosity that Harriet became. Others will come... ...engendered by deceitful vampires. I don't mean you, of course. I thought you'd been slaughtered... ...with all the other sewer scars. I was up above. ...in search of help when Harriet suddenly turned into that thing. I have no idea what it was. It's over now. London is no longer shrouded in the disaster's shadow. We're all safe. Yes. You prevailed in the end. I hope you'll forgive me for the way I treated you when first you presented yourself at our gate. No need to apologize. Really. Perhaps there will be no stories told or songs sung of what's happened here today. But I'll know the truth. Jonathan Reed, newborn vampire, stepped forward and saved us all. I'm honored to be part of this city's legend. Thank you, old Bridget. May I ask you just one question? How could I refuse you anything now? I'll answer just as I answered Lady Ashbury. ...when we met a few nights ago. Who are you? Really? I was born with the name Bridget Eleanor Wellington. In 1738, my beloved and immortal husband... ...decided to preserve my beauty and youth forever... ...by making me drink his blood. You were Lord Redgrave's wife? Shit. Then the pompous fool rejected you, did he not? It was about 200 years ago. Peace found me in time. And I sincerely hope it will find you too. Now that all is over. No, it's not over. I may have ended the vampire epidemic, but I still need answers from the woman I love. I feared you would say that. Go then, young Ekon, and face your fate. Just remember that I'll always be here for you. So, that's Lord Redgrave's ex-wife? Lord Redgrave, what a pompous prick. London has been cleansed. This catastrophe came about when an ancient malignant will crossed paths with mortal imprudence. For now, we are safe. For now, my craving for blood remains. Red like hate, red like hunger, red as life and death. Passing from one immortal to another, from predator to victim, patiently biding its time to rise again. London has been cleansed for now, but there's a simmering hatred, fear, and old grudges. When will we succumb, mortals and immortals alike? The next disaster is only a matter of time. My only hope now is to catch the woman I love to understand why she fled and unmask the secret that has been lurking in her blood for so long.
Oh, look at this. We're not in Transylvania, are we? Oh, he's got a pimp and car, like. Well, this is it. Lady Ashbury's domain. Why am I not surprised it's not on any maps? I oh, better hurry. It actually reminds it looks like Chapter 7, Healthy Courier. It doesn't actually tell us where we are. But it, it reminds me of the the Witcher Fort in the Witcher 3. It's got that look about it. I wonder if we are in Transylvania. Oh, maybe. A while ago in this game, we come across a, a note that said something about uh, Lord Dracula is residing in Transylvania. I wonder if she is the daughter of Lord Dracula. Hmm. Maybe. Anyways, right. I'm going to call it there for this episode, lads. And next episode, we're going to investigate this and finally find the way to my beloved's heart. <laughs> right? <coughs> See you in the next episode, lads.